Chandler is a fan favorite, but Ava faces major backlash. What makes one Mr. Beast member loved and another hated? The answers might surprise you. The Mr. Beast crew. Some are adored. Recently, the Lord has put it on my heart to start sharing, you know, some of the things that I've learned. Others, not so much. It's like a high school popularity contest, but with millions watching. Funny how fans can love or hate these guys so strongly. You'd think they were picking a president, not watching YouTube videos. But here's the kicker. Public opinion can make or break these guys' careers. One day you're on top, the next you're yesterday's news. Harsh, right? Dig into why some crew members are golden boys while others are in the doghouse. Trust me, it's not always for the reasons you'd expect. The most loved Mr. Beast member isn't who you think. It's the guy who can't catch a break on camera. Yep, Chandler. How does the biggest loser end up winning hearts? Let's find out. Chandler's role in Mr. Beast videos is pretty simple. He's the guy who always messes up. Yet fans love him. It's like he's found a way to fail upwards. So what's his secret? Well, it's not rocket science. Chandler is just a... Chandler. He doesn't put on an act. He's not trying to be cool or funny. He's just a normal guy who happens to be on camera a lot. And people eat that up. At first, Chandler was shy and quiet in videos. But over time, he's grown into his role. Now he's known for his childlike personality. But there's more to Chandler than just being goofy. He's got some strong values that fans respect. He's big on faith and family. He often posts Bible readings on social media, and he talks about how much his family means to him. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but it gives him depth. Chandler's popularity is pretty steady. That's rare in the Mr. Beast world. Other crew members have ups and downs with fans. What's really impressive is how Chandler handles being the butt of jokes. He doesn't get mad. He doesn't try to defend himself. He laughs along with everyone else. It's like he's in on the joke, even when the joke is on him. <laughs> you take your hand off! No! Yeah! Fans love this about Chandler. As one fan said, he's just a chill and humble guy. Another praised him for never trying to act differently on camera. It's clear that what you see is what you get with Chandler. This authenticity is Chandler's superpower. In a world of influencers and internet celebrities, Chandler feels real. He's not perfect, and he doesn't pretend to be. He's just a guy doing his best and having fun along the way. It's interesting to compare Chandler to other Mr. Beast members. Turns out being liked isn't a given in the Mr. Beast world. Just ask Ava Chris Tyson. She went from hero to zero faster than you can say subscribe. So, what happened? Well, it's a mess. People said Ava sent dirty pictures to a kid. Yikes. The kid, Lava, was only 13. Fans were mad. Really mad. But then Lava said it wasn't true. He wrote, these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. So, case closed, right? Not quite. Another guy, Nathan, who used to work for Mr. Beast, said Ava did bad things and he had proof from a Discord chat. Friends with Lava GS at the time, who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days. Double yikes. Now fans didn't know what to think. Some still liked Ava. Others wanted her gone. It's weird. Ava used to be a fan favorite. Now she's causing big problems for the Mr. Beast team. An ex-employee called Dogpack404 said Ava was a major liability. That's not good. Seems like the team can't just kick her out, though. They're worried she might sue them. Talk about awkward office parties. So where does this leave Ava? In a tough spot. Some fans still have her back. They think she's being treated unfairly. Others think she's bad news. They don't want to see her in videos anymore. Everything you do online can come back to bite you. Ava is learning this the hard way. Her old tweets, 
her art choices, her private chats. They're all fair game now. Fans dig up everything. It's like being under a microscope all the time. No pressure, right? But here's the weird part. Some fans are still Team Ava. Why? Maybe they don't believe the rumors. Maybe they think she deserves a second chance. Or maybe they just like her so much they don't care what she did. It's not logical, but fandom rarely is. The whole Ava situation is a headache for Mr. Beast. He's trying to run a clean, family-friendly channel. Having a controversial figure in the crew doesn't help. But firing Ava isn't simple. It could cause even more drama. So Ava is stuck in limbo. Not fully part of the team, but not fully out either. It's awkward for everyone. Fans don't know how to feel when they see her in videos. The other crew members probably feel weird working with her. And Ava? She's probably wishing she could turn back time. Ava isn't the only one with a wild ride. Some crew members are loved, but others, not so much. What turns a fan favorite into public enemy number one? Hint, it's not always what they do on camera. Take Tarek, for example. This guy used to be a comedian. Now he's changing lives. How's that for a career move? Fans love Tarek. They think he's real. They want to see more of him. It's like he won the Mr. Beast lottery. But not everyone's so lucky. Remember Carl Jacobs? He used to be hot stuff. Now, not so much. Fans are tired of his act. They say things like, I think Carl ruins the videos, and his jokes are never funny. Ouch. Guess being loud and silly doesn't always pay off. <laughs> Some crew members are smart enough to quit while they're ahead. Jake the Viking left on good terms. He wanted to do his own thing. Now, now it's time. I want to move on. I want to, you know, be... I want, to, I want to start my own brand. I want to start my own thing. I want to do my own thing. Fans respect that. It's like he graduated from Mr. Beast University with honors. Then there's Marcus Pearson. His exit? Not so smooth. Think less graceful exit and more dumpster fire. There were rumors about drugs. He even had a public meltdown about Mr. Beast. And whoever else. And then I was going to try to come up and act like they ain't, they ain't need us or they 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 didn't and since you thought i was so stupid <clears throat> since you assume i was so stupid i'm gonna show you and since i can't put my hands on you and i can't touch it like i want to this is the route i gotta go yeah <laughs> not a great way to leave your job buddy but hey there's always new blood coming in take mac and nolan they're the new kids on the block Mac's doing pretty well. Fans like his chill vibe. One fan even said, Mac honestly might be my favorite guy you've had on this channel in a while. Not bad for the new guy. Nolan? He's trying. Some fans think he's annoying, but he hasn't messed up big time yet. In the Mr. Beast world, that's practically a win. So what's the secret sauce? What makes one crew member a star and another a dud? It's not rocket science. Be real. Don't fake it. And for crying out loud, don't get caught in a scandal. Funny thing about scandals, they have a way of working their way up. Now the guy handing out all that cash is under the microscope. Is Mr. Beast's generosity real? Or is it all just a show for the cameras? Turns out Mr. Beast isn't immune to controversy. He's been hit with some pretty serious claims. People say he's faking videos, treating contestants badly, and using shady methods to make content. Ouch. That's not a good look for a guy who's supposed to be all about helping others. Some folks even say his giveaways might be illegal lotteries. And it doesn't stop there. There are claims that Mr. Beast's frequent giveaways are actually illegal lotteries, and that Mr. Beast's contests run afoul of federal anti-rigging laws. Who knew free money could be against the law? It's like finding out Santa Claus is running a sweatshop at the North Pole. But wait, it gets worse. Ex-contestants are coming out with horror stories. They talk about bad management and not getting their meds. 
They actually come to me and asked me if I was okay, and I told them I wasn't. I told them that I wanted to die, and one of them had called a psychologist to come on set and talk to me, and that psychologist had even informed me shows like Mr. Beast, and I'm assuming probably similar type game, game shows, they they kind of destroy the contestants. It is extremely psychologically damaging, and I really think that it should end. Imagine winning a challenge only to end up sick. Now, some fans are still Team Beast. They say all YouTubers tweak their content. It's just part of the game. But others feel betrayed. They thought Mr. Beast was different. Guess not. Jimmy's not taking this lying down. He's sending out cease and desist letters like their party invites. And he's scrubbing negative comments faster than you can say, delete. But that's just making people more suspicious. It's like when your kid brother says he didn't eat the last cookie, with crumbs all over his face. The whole mess is changing how people see Mr. Beast. His St. Jimmy act isn't playing so well anymore. Fans are starting to wonder if it was all just that, an act. One ex-crew member, Jake, said working for Mr. Beast was bad for his mental health. Yikes. That's not what you expect from a guy who gives away houses on YouTube. It's like finding out your favorite superhero is a jerk in real life. All this drama is hitting Mr. Beast where it hurts, his brand. People loved him because they thought he was genuine. Now, not so much. It's like finding out your vegan friend secretly eats bacon. It changes everything.